Hey, what's up, homies? It's your girl, Gosso Girl, here with a review of the Prince Family Documentary Part 1. <sighs> I'm going to be honest about this. Um, like I said, I don't talk bad about people. I just give my opinion about things. And I saw the documentary. I was like, kind of, the, like, I wasn't sure I was going to watch the documentary because I'm like, I was just over it at one point. I said, let me just see what it's about. So I said, okay, let me see this documentary. And then as I was watching it, T and K, T and K Squad popped up because they was doing their thoughts and opinions about it. So I said, okay, I'm definitely going to watch this because I don't want to see their opinion just yet. I will look at theirs after I'm done. So after I was done looking at it and giving my review, then I'll go over them and to see what they're saying and stuff like that. So, um, <laughs> okay, I'm not going to lie to you guys. When he first started out, he was telling his story about, you know, where he's from and, you know, his life story, about, you know, as he was growing up and stuff like that. Um, I was like, okay, okay. I, I was feeling it. I'm not going to lie. I was feeling it a little bit. I'm like, okay, he's telling us, you know, his life, it was hard. You know, some of us not handed a silver spoon. No, no, none of us has a good life, had a good life growing up. Well, I'm not going to say not any of us. Some of us have it and some of us have. But he was just saying how growing up and, you know, just living life was kind of rough for him. Make a long story short. So there's all the okays. And then he went through a lot of stuff with his girlfriend, his brothers, his family, you know, getting emancipated and living with his father and stuff like that. So I was like, hmm. I was like, wow, Damien, you've been through a, a, a lot. So where the whole thing got weird for me was... um. When he started, when he met Bianca, when Bianca came to work at Little Caesars Pizza, and um, he had eyes for her then, okay? He had eyes for her then, and he was like, okay, she he wanted her by him so she, she could show her how to put pepperonis on the pizza, you know, because she was in training and all that kind of stuff. So I was like, oh, okay. Um, but, and then he said, you know, because he knew what he was after. He knew what he wanted. And I'm like, he knew what he wanted. So, basically, you was after her anyway for her cookies or whatever. But, anyway, and not the cookies you buy in the store either. So, Damien is about, what, five to six years older than Bianca. But he's 27. She's 22. So, back then... She had to be about 15 or 16, and he was still 20 or 21, give or take. That's still, um, she's still a minor. He is still, he, you know, he was a predator at that time. You know what I'm saying? She was very, very young. Okay. Can't do nothing about it now because she's 22, and they have babies and married and stuff. But at that time, that was creep. Uh, that was um, creepy stuff he was doing because what? why would he want somebody so young? Like, why couldn't he find a woman his own age to, you know, be with and start a life with? You know, he got with this little tenderoni, which was Bianca. So, but anyway, but she was living a little bit fast too because we'll get to that part. So, I'm like, ew, I'm like, okay, this now this is getting creepy. This is getting like really cringy so he's telling her how he met her and stuff and it was going to you know he asked her was she going to the fair and she was like yeah they're going to the fair and stuff like that and you know she was just being a little fasty or whatever the case may be but here it is when she wanted to like be with him you know she told her mom that she was going to her dad house <laughs> for two weeks and stuff like that. So this is where the mom dropped the ball. If my daughter came to me and said, Ma, I'm going to my dad's house for two weeks. I want to verify that. You have to verify with your children. She's still a minor. You have to verify. Because what if David was the type of guy that could have did anything to her and killed her or whatever and threw her on, you know, threw her to the to the curb or in the woods somewhere? Then she'd be like, Oh my god, I felt my I felt my daughter. But you kind of did still because she didn't check to make sure she was at her father's house. This girl went, left her mom's house and went laying up with Damien. And he's proud to my like, yeah, you know, she was with me for two weeks and we did, you know, we was doing and stuff like that. And I'm like, she's still a minor. You still talking about, you know, y'all was getting it in. Like, what? That, <laughs> you follow me. But anyway, um, some things are just like, wow. You know, it's just like, 
it's crazy to me. So I'm like, okay. So then they started talking about that and then, um, you know, talking about how she was working. They, they went through a whole bunch of financial difficulties. He was gambling. He was doing this and he was doing that and stuff like that. And then she became pregnant. So I'm thinking that she she did a video a while back saying she was pregnant at 17. So at 17, he was 22. She's 17, he's 22. She's still young. She's still young. She didn't have like a a teenage life. You know, she jumped into everything so like mad early. She didn't have a teenage life. And what if this YouTube thing didn't work out for her? You know, how would her life would have been? She would have been always struggling. But as you can see, their YouTube life did work out. But I just found it really weird that he was preying on this girl at a young age. She was very young. You know, he may not think about it that way now, but he really was. She was mad young. You get what I'm saying? So, um, there's no, there's, there's no excuse for her. That's, that's the part I didn't like. Um, it was some, some of the parts of it was confusing as well. It's like, it was, I felt like I heard this story before and can't remember where. It was like certain parts where he would say certain things like I heard it from someplace else, but maybe not. But, um, it is what it is. I don't know, but, and you know, my thing is they have their fans look in the comment section. I'm looking in the comment section and people are saying they're so inspirational, this, this, and that. But did you not hear the part when he was with her at such a young age? She was a minor. That part is not okay. It's true. We can't do nothing about it now. We can't go back in time and change nothing. But don't excuse the fact. She still was young when he got with her. It was like, okay, he going to get with her. Then, she was, then he said, oh, she was light-skinned. You know, she, but, you know, she was thick. She had long hair. I mean, okay, yes, she's light skinned. Not all light skinned people are beautiful, but you know, hey, it is. I'm not saying she's ugly. Don't get me wrong, she's not. She's not an ugly girl. But people get so caught up in this color, like, oh, she's light skinned, or oh, he's light skinned, or whatever the case may be. Like, what does that mean? You still black, even though she's mixed race. Her mom is white. I felt like her mom should have been tight on her. Because letting her go for two weeks like that and not even like verifying with her father if she's going to be there is crazy to me. Those, that part, I'm just stuck like, like what? Now, if those two parts wasn't in there about that, that would have been a, a good story. That would have been a good documentary. But like I said, in the beginning, it was fine. But when he started telling the story about how he met Bianca and how he like, you know, basically trapped her I guess I'm just saying not everyone's gonna agree with me but like you know it's just crazy it's just really crazy it's just really weird so what did you guys think about if you saw the documentary what did you think about it let me know in the comment section please be respectful of my channel in my comment section because I don't disrespect nobody and I want nobody to disrespect nobody in my comment section if you're nasty and mean and saying nasty stuff you will be deleted and blocked and that'll be that so Anyway, let me know in the comment section what you think about this documentary. And I'm going to go over to TNK Squad and look at their um, video and see if we had some of the same points about this documentary. So, documentary. <laughs> so, you guys have a great night and I'll talk to you later. Bye.